You're watching ABC4 News. Welcome back. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And thanks to efforts behind regular screenings, there are fewer deaths. Yet, Utah has some of the lowest mammogram screening rates in the country. ABC4's medical correspondent Saray Chin and our partners at Intermountain Healthcare tell us that early detection saves lives. Sherry Dew is an author, publisher, CEO of Deseret Books, and a breast cancer survivor. I got the dreaded call that says uh, you've, you've got cancer. The cancer was caught after a regular mammogram screening. There was a really big circle, and I thought, oh, boy, that looks bad. And he said, oh, that's nothing. He said, that's why they sent it over, but that's nothing. That's a false positive. Then he said, now, I am a little worried about, see over here? There are these three little dots. Those tiny dots were cancerous. Well, one in eight women are diagnosed with breast cancer in this country. Talk about that staggering number. My mother had breast cancer. I've had aunts with breast cancer, so it's all around us. And it's hard to believe that we don't have higher screening rates when we have a way to detect breast cancer early. Sherry was one of those people who put off her screenings. Honestly, I was not a great example prior to finding what they found. But now she's a believer. Thankfully, Sherry's cancer was caught early. After her lumpectomy, she never had to go through any cancer treatment. Not only did she not need chemotherapy, she didn't need radiation therapy either. So her only treatment was surgical excision. Our goal is to catch cancers in the same stage that we were able to find Sherry's cancer. Dr. Brett Parkinson is the medical director of Intermountain Healthcare's Breast Care Center. He says Sherry's case is an example of why mammograms work. If a woman puts off her mammogram or she skips it completely, then she finds that the next year it may have grown. It may have doubled in size or even tripled in size. So it's really important that women get their mammograms now and they don't neglect that. Sherry's mother and sister both had breast cancer, but the cancer was detected later. We've been touched by this in our family. Thankfully, everybody has survived. But I've almost had, quote unquote, survivor's guilt, if you will, meaning I've felt a little guilty that I didn't have to go through the extensive treatments that my mother and my sister did. Intermountain Healthcare has extended their hours at night and on weekends to accommodate safety precautions during the pandemic with more time between patients. Intermountain also has two mobile mammogram units that deploy around the state to make screenings more convenient, especially in underserved communities. COVID is very serious, but don't neglect other areas of your health care. It's very important that you have screening mammography and that you undergo the other screenings that are age appropriate. And that you just take care of yourself. The hospital is a safe place. We do social distancing. Uh, we have very few people in the waiting areas now, and we do a thorough cleaning of the rooms in between patients. So rest assured that if you come to one of these Intermountain facilities, that you will be well cared for and that you will be safe. None of us like to go get a mammogram. It's just not your favorite thing. But 10 minutes of discomfort sure beats months of therapy. To schedule a mammogram, call 801-507-7840 or visit intermountainhealthcare.org slash mammogram. Sarai Chen, ABC4 News.